so maybe explain how they caught you guys or or what goes on there. We go to the cult, normal as usual, and then they just started asking us like more questions, like asking me like, oh, so where are you staying? Like just being kind of more like they they never usually got really involved in my life. They didn't really care. They just liked that I wanted to be there. Mm -hmm. And I just I thought it was off, but like we didn't really think of too much of it. And uh, we go down to manual labor like we usually do. We're just working hard manual labor. And what, what were you doing at the time? Uh, I think we were just like cutting cucumbers. Like th there was big cucumbers. We had to put them in buckets and then like take it all the way to the other side, dump the bucket. And okay. Then, what, what was the worst job and the best job? The worst job was, uh, so it was also, you have to remember it's the middle of July. So it's a hundred degrees, yeah. uh, like Fahrenheit, which is really hot. And uh, you, you can't wear shorts. You have to wear like long sleeves, long pants. So it's even hotter. And they put me in the sun shoveling manure for 10 hours straight, multiple days. Wow. And I'm shoveling manure just for just 10 hours. And it was, there was a couple of times I like wanted to quit. And I was like, this isn't worth, this is, uh, this is <laughs> the worst job I've ever had in my life. Like I want to quit. I'm not getting paid. I'm not getting content out of it. I'm like, this is a waste of time. And, but I was like, it's got it. It's going to be worth it. And the, I just got to stick through this. Like it's for the good of the video. Like this is gaining their trust. Cause like after I do this work, there's no way they think I'm in here just to secretly infiltrate them. You know? Yeah. Sometimes I would just go, I have to go to the bathroom just to go because I was so overdoing the manual labor, yeah. but we would have code words. If I said, I love you, dude, that means I'm recording. And uh, if I said, I'm tired, I'm not recording with the spy glasses. And uh, if he, if he tells me, I love you, uh, that means start recording the spy glasses. We're going to start like talking to the guy. So at manual labor, we'll like get them to talk. Well, Ben will just start up a convo about like, like we gay the, people. Yeah, gay people. Are <laughs> so, like, what are your thoughts on gay people? Or one of the cult <laughs> member, one of the cult members said the N word. We got that on footage. Like, it just got crazy. So then the the day we got kicked out, Nathaniel, the guy that like basically is the, if there's a manager, there's no manager, but he like runs the farm, and so we were with him every day. So he's the one that knew us the most, and he just seems so off, dude. It, ben, it was weird. Like still thinking about it to this day, it was weird. Like he gave me the most awkward hug. And I was like, how you doing? And well, yeah, it'd be like if you found out like your mom is your dad, you know, it's like, oh, this person who I like got to really know is the exact opposite of what yeah. I thought they were, you and, know? And yeah. then he started asked, telling us like, like it's really bad to be like untruthful and like what else? I've kind of, I, I don't know. I would have the same reaction. Yeah, he was basically like, he was like, uh, he's like, well, we, we were also one day, I was one day away from getting baptized. And that's when- Ben's crazy. You know, yeah. I, was, I was not going to get baptized. Shit. Dude, yeah. you have to give up everything. And like- That's when they take your bank account, your cell phone, your car keys, your house. So I had like, I, I had a fake phone I was going to give them. I had like fake keys. I, I, I drained all the money from my bank account and like liquid cash. And that way, like they can take <laughs> everything. But like, this, like once it like, comes out, they're not going like, to legally, they have nothing, you know? So, I mean, maybe like an old phone is all they would have. But- Whole Holy um, shit, the, so commit, was, the level of commitment dude, is It's astonishing. reckless Ben. It's yeah. crazy, dude. Yeah, but I was one day away, and then it would have been hilarious. But And then <laughs> the guy's like, oh, yeah, also, like, if you get baptized, like, you have to be, like, real, because, like, sometimes, like, we only baptize people if they're, like, really who they say they are and stuff. And we're like, what's this guy talking about? Like, yeah, what like, do you mean really who we say? So, so we're getting these things where it seems like they're, they're catching on to us, but how can they catch on to us? Like, I feel like we've been killing it. And I feel it's weird. Like, I feel like a God was looking out for us, dude. Cause yeah, like, God was definitely looking out because for us. Because the spot, so I, I, I always bring my water to manual labor. And because it's so hot, we're like working in over 100 degree weather. And I forgot my water in the car. Like, I had a huge jug because you're there for so long. And I never forget it. And so I was really thirsty. So I'm, I'm like, Ben, I'm going to go go up to the car and get my water. And I was like, we just got some really good footage. Might as well go change out the spy glasses when I'm up there. So that means a brand new memory card. Go up there, go change out the spy glasses. I come down. Two of the main guys, they're never at the manual labor. They come down. And I thought that was really strange. Like, why are they coming down? And uh, I just started the spy glasses. So I just started and I'm walking down. So it's not really any footage at all. Um, I had to go pee. I go pee in a bush. So whatever, whatever got recorded with the spy glasses, I was, I was recording my piss, I guess. <laughs> and, uh, we, I get back from peeing and the two main members, they go, Hey Daniel, can I see your glasses? And to seem on sketch, I was like, 
yeah, okay. I gave my glasses. It's, kind of, it's really hard to find the memory card because yeah. they're spy glasses. Yeah, you literally have to like bend a certain thing over. Like it, unless you know how the spy glasses work, you're not finding the SD card. Dude, yeah. he knew exactly where the SD card was right away. He takes it out and he goes, he goes, we know everything about to Ben. To Ben. We know you go by Reckless Ben. We saw your Scientology series. We know this is what you do. And uh, it was the most awkward, most uncomfortable moment of my entire life. I, I, I was like shaking, but we're both smart. And without them seeing us, we took out our phones really quick and recorded audio. So we had about 15 minutes of audio of them kicking us out. Really? So at least we had that. And we added that into our video. Um, but it, dude, it was so scary. But one good thing is they didn't even know I had a YouTube channel. They didn't. They probably thought I just worked for you or something. Do you know yeah. how they found out about you? We don't know. Um, no, no, so no, we know. We know. I think, I mean, we don't know 100%, but we know the guy who found out about us was a guy at the restaurant. And he said that we were asking some like pretty, quite, like some interesting questions questions that My sounded fault. like we were like interrogating them, which would have worked at the farm. Like we were asking the same questions at the farm and they were answering it. But because we hadn't gained their same trust of the restaurant, I guess it could come off as like it pushy, was, but yeah. it was something I said. I blew it's it for okay. the team. Yeah. Danny was basically just like, uh, um, like, so he just announced that my fiance died. He was like, Ben's <laughs> fiance died at, at eight in the morning. He's like, it's so sad. And like, he's like, it's like a really sad moment. And then like 30 seconds later, he's like, but also, like Ben should have been with a white girl, right? Like, like, you know, like, <laughs> like she's Chinese. That's fine. Like I've always seen Ben with a white girl, and then the guy's just like, "Wait, what?" Like, what? okay. The only reason I said that is because the day before that, Ben wasn't recording, and the guy, that same guy, said the, the farm, same yeah. thing. Mm. He said the same exact thing that you shouldn't marry a Chinese girl. Yeah. So Ben's like, "Re say it, but get in on footage." And because we didn't gain that guy's trust yet, because we gained everyone's trust at the farm when we worked at the restaurant, they didn't really know us yet, yeah. so they couldn't trust us. So he was thought like we we're. We're, like I was testing him. And yeah. so I guess basically we found out that they looked us up and they can't find me. I'm Daniel the Virgin Surfer. Go Google that. You won't find me. But Ben's a professional slackliner. So if you Google Ben's slackline, his YouTube channel comes oh, up. The first, yeah. YouTube, the first YouTube video that comes up is like, um, like the TV show found that I was secretly recording them. I think it's like titled it. <laughs> <laughs> and then it, it's like an arrow that like points to the like spy camera and there's a little glasses, like spy camera in my glasses in the thumbnail. And it's like, ah, okay. But, they, but, caught us. Uh, they got me. But, but when they kicked us out, we're not breaking character. We're not going to let the cult win. So basically when they took my glasses, I was like, I go, so you're telling me my doctor's spying on me? Because I told them my doctor gave me those glasses for my lazy eye. So I was staying in character. I mean, Ben, you kind of really... They, they caught you. So basically yeah. you could just be like, yeah, that was a bad time in my life, but I regret it. I'm not like that anymore. And uh, basically how I ended it is I'm going to come back and prove my innocence because they didn't know I had a YouTube channel. Yeah. And so that's what I did. I went back and proved my innocence. Ben told me to blame everything on him. I said, Ben manipulated me. He paid off a doctor to say that for my glasses. I said, Ben, <laughs> I said, ben works for the FBI's. Not, oh, not, yeah. not, not FBI because it's illegal to do that. It's a felony. Yeah. And so FBI's with an S not illegal and uh their face just drops because it sounds like fbi and uh because they were in investigated by the fbi so i wanted to freak them out and uh basically i just told them that and they they accepted it and but they just said if i come back they'll call the cops so, so then they showed back up again and the cops came yeah yeah that, that's about the end of the story yeah but one. basically we got kicked out of san diego but we're st we're not gonna let the cult win we're like they caught us we got a bunch of footage and a bunch of blackmail on them but we're still not done because we basically want to take this cult down. Yeah. Like we see something wrong and we, we feel like we want to get even more evidence on the child abuse to take them down. And so I was like, Ben, dude, they're not going to see us coming. This cult's called the 12 tribes, meaning 12 locations. Yeah, you have 11 more to go. Yeah, That's ben, what it sounds like. Ben. I was wondering how they looked you up, though, if they're not allowed to use that type of technology. Uh, so they're allowed to use the Internet for like tax reasons, I think, um, and like financial reasons. But they, they don't just surf the web. But like, if they have to look something up, like if someone's infiltrating them, like it would be a sin for them not to look it up probably, you know, and just like, let me keep infiltrating and take them down. Cause like, if we kept doing it, like who knows, maybe they're not going to do their group suicide anymore. You know, that would be detrimental to them. But, um, so the, our, our next like four episodes, we ended up flying to Colorado to re-infiltrate the cult with fake names and fake backstories. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I'm Harry, but I go by Papa H. And I'm a TikTok oh, star yeah. with over 3 million followers because that's going to, we basically were trolling them. They're going to hate me. And Ben's going to be the character that's, Ben goes by Bob. And Bob is racist, homophobic. And he's yeah. basically, the cult's going to love Bob, but they're going to hate me. And we're basically just going to like, 
uh, I'm going to disagree with what Bob believes, and then they're, they're going to hate me, and we're just going to try to get their reactions that way. But uh, yeah, we went to Colorado and re-infiltrated the cult. And I actually have a question for you guys. So something that someone was telling us is that if you, in California, coding, according to like some penal, I think it's called like penal code 798 or something, uh, which is squatter's rights. If you squat in the area for more than three days, the owner has to give you a 30 day notice to leave, right? Before they can legally evict you. So someone was saying like, it was illegal for them to just say you had to leave. They had to give you a 30 day notice. Oh, so that's a good point. So yeah. we tried going back and, and using that, but the sheriffs came and said, oh, well, because you waited like so and so many months before coming back. Now, like a grace period's gone and like you would have to stay there again before they could give you a 30 day notice. So I know you guys aren't lawyers, but like you guys are college dropouts. Uh, you guys <laughs> want to know. Basically um, the same thing. What if we, so they have a 68 acre farm and there's a lot of woods on that farm that we could hide and they would never know that we're there. So if we hide there for three days, uh, do you think that now we get our three days back, they have to give us a 30 day notice to leave. Could we just stay there and keep the series going for 30 more days? Or? I, I mean, you know, I've never infiltrated a cult, so it's probably not the best to ask. Neither have I, but to me, that sounds pretty sound. You know, it sounds that, pretty sound. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sounds pretty sound. And I'm down to do it, dude. Are, I mean, are you not worried easy. about them harming you at all? I mean, if we're, I don't know. And then also the thing is, is like, then if that's like now our property, if that's, if we're living there legally for 30 days, like we can legally just, we don't even have to use the spy camera glasses. We can just film like normally. And, and uh, I mean, it's not illegal to film on your own property, right? If we're like living there legally for 30 days. You know, I have I, no idea. I do. So I think legally it, it, it seems legit, you know, uh -huh. cause you're, you're squatting on there and they have to give you the 30 day notice. I, I kind of agree where, where Zach is coming from uh, with the harming situation. Cause then at that point, I feel like they, you know, they catch you and they're like, this is probably not their first rodeo uh -huh. with people trying to infiltrate them. So they just kick you out. But if you keep going back and trying to piss them off, that's when I feel like we're not trying to piss them off. We're just trying, trying to find out information yeah, about every them. But every time they, we they could take it as you're trying to uh, well, instigate. I, things. I guess that's just a risk that we're willing to take to get the the craziest content ever. You, you know, know yeah. to each their own. You know, I'm gonna sit back and uh, you know in my bed and watch the content. What they but say is with great risk comes great reward. That's very true. No, uh, no one ever accomplished anything great by staying inside their comfort zone, right? Exactly.